shade is on my eyes um I will include a tutorial in it I don't think that this looks good with my eye shape whatsoever but anyway um this was difficult to do because I just wanted to only use this um had I used some mattes and stuff in my crease it would have been a lot easier but anyways um let's put it on my lips I'm really excited about this one because pussy looks so pretty smells just like minutes I'm just staring at myself sorry <laughs> I'm gonna give it a couple of minutes to see if it's gonna dry down I'm obsessed okay so I'm obsessed did I say I was obsessed because I'm definitely obsessed with no tea no shade I will say it just it did just slightly wear off a little bit but it's probably not fully set it has been a couple of minutes but someone told me so this is my last video Someone told me that you're supposed to wait 15 minutes, which I'm honestly not ever going to do. <laughs> I love this. I think it makes my lips look huge. Anyways, the formula on his metallics has definitely improved. I think that it was because of the pink or the red pigments, whatever was going on. Um, a lot of you were saying that that could have messed it up, and it did. So happy to say that No Tea No Shade is beautiful. If you can do a dark lip, it's amazing. It looks really pretty on my eyes. Um, do I have eyeshadows that could mimic this? Yes, but is it awesome? Yes. This would make a really cool liner. Go crazy, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you liked the video. Let me know. This is still not sold out as, at the moment that I'm filming, which is on the 30th. I'm just going to stare at myself for a little while. So I'm really excited to report that with no tea, no shade in the last spot, I now have a full little caddy thingy. I don't know what to call these. But look. Very exciting. Makes me feel like I'll sleep better at night. So then I'll have to buy a new one and start from the bottom. <laughs> So I'm starting off by putting some of No Tea No Shade on the back of my hands and I'm putting that on my lid with no concealer. If you add concealer, they're going to mix together and get weird real quick. So anyways, I'm starting in my inner corner and I'm spreading it all over my lid. <laughs> And then I'm drawing out the wing and I'm bringing the product right to that. And then I'm going to take a fluffy brush to blend out the edges right in the crease. You do have to work fast since it's going to set and it will get messy but you can definitely clean it up later. If it set all the way and wasn't blending, I just added some more product and then continued to carefully blend upwards toward the crease. <laughs> Once I got to the point where it wasn't going to blend out completely, I took concealer and cleaned up from underneath of the brow bone to the inner corner and then I blended out that concealer. I was able to get a blended look with adding the concealer to meet the crease. Then I worked on cleaning up and defining that wing. Making sure just one last time that everything is blended and that is it for that eye look. I did add liner and lashes as usual. <laughs> <laughs> 